This collection of videos concerns signals. There will be a collection of animated and real life videos explaining what signals you should give and when. Unlike other topics where I've covered the main points of the subject in a single video, I'm planning a short video for each scenario where a signal should be given or considered. In all cases when giving signals, you should consider which road users may benefit from your signal, whether a signal is needed at all, when is the best time to give a signal, and very importantly, whether a signal could be confusing to another road user. Signals tell other road users what you're about to do, not what you're busy doing or what you've just done. They're to give advance warning to other road users. It's surprising how many drivers signal too late to be of any benefit or skip signals altogether. Good signal timing is vital. In general, you should give a signal when any road user may benefit, but not if it may confuse anyone. All types of road user could benefit from your signals, from pedestrians and cyclists to the largest of motor vehicles. Usually the vehicle following you would benefit from a signal, especially if you're about to slow down. Signals include brake lights, arm signals, hazard lights, the horn and headlights, but the signal that causes most issues is the turn signal or indicator. Most videos will focus on turn signals. The position of your car and the speed you're travelling can also give other road users a signal about your intentions. I'll cover junctions, roundabouts of all sizes, as well as any other scenarios where signals could be given, such as moving off, stopping, overtaking and changing lanes. If you have a scenario you'd like to see covered, please say so in the comments section of this video and I'll do my best to cover everything that viewers want. If you like the videos on this channel, please subscribe and press the like button.